So, you're interested in Watch Dogs 2, you've seen a trailer or two, maybe you played Watch Dogs 1, and you thought, hey, I wonder if they're going to make a Watch Dogs 2. Well, they have! And today, I'm going to share my experience of playing this game for about half an hour, Gamescom, they invited me, Ubisoft that is, to their behind closed doors experience of Watch Dogs 2. And today, I'm going to be sharing that experience with you, sharing some exclusive gameplay with you, it's very exciting. And also uh, just talking through my impressions, my expectations of the game's full release. And uh, we're going to have a little chinwag. We're going to chit chat about the game and what it's all about. Is it any better than Watch Dogs 1? Or is it a complete clusterfuck? Let's have a look. Now, one thing you're probably sat there wondering if you've seen this gameplay before is, Oh, Ollie, this is not exclusive. You promised the people exclusive gameplay. That's right. I just wanted to do a quick little intro. Let you guys in easy. I didn't want to throw your beautiful faces with gameplay watchdog exclusive from the get-go. So without further ado, I have to give you a little caveat and say all the gameplay you're going to be seeing today is alpha. It's not final release, but it is as I played it. So yeah, bear that in mind. The gameplay you're seeing is pretty much what I saw when I played the game, if that makes sense. But let's get on to our first little clip here. So my biggest complaint of the original Watch Dogs game was the fact the game looked moody, dark and dingy. The stylistic choice was, ooh, mystical, dark and dingy hacking world. It's going to be scary. But this game is completely different. Luckily, this game is beautiful, it's colorful, it's bright, vibrant, and it's a pleasure to be walking around. It's a really good looking game. And there was a lot of, obviously you guys know if you follow any you know, game journalism of Watch Dogs 1. There was a lot of uh, heat, quote unquote, behind the fact the original trailer for Watch Dogs 1 was absolutely drop dead gorgeous, but people didn't think the game reflected that when it came out. Now, what I will say is the trailer we saw is, from what I could tell from my naked eye, identical to what I played. Now, it was alpha, the game seemed to be running smoothly, I can't confirm or deny if it was uh, 60 or 30 FPS, but what I do know is it was smooth, buttery smooth, uh, it wasn't distracting the frame rate, and uh, it looked gorgeous. It was a pleasure to walk around, it was really, really fun, and uh, yeah, in terms of graphics, we're gonna, we're gonna end this right now, the graphics thing. It's pretty much how they're showing you, just outright. Now you may have noticed, we're running a lot in this game. There's a lot of parkour going on. That's right, this game has very, very much kind of really refined the movement and uh, the running in this game. It's really cool to see how easy it is to run, jump, climb. It's got a very Assassin's Creed ease of use to it. Like you run up a wall and you just end up jumping up the wall. It's real easy, it's real nice. Um, like I said, the graphics were good. The game was smooth. And that is helped by the fact that the running and the character movement and animation didn't feel awkward or clunky, which I think, arguably, Watch Dogs 1 might have been, like, it was a little bit awkward to, like, turn left and right. Like, it just didn't, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of these clips you're seeing are actually multiplayer based, and that's because the gameplay that's captured here is from multiplayer, yeah? capture multiplayer show you multiplayer and the reason why that's cool is because Watch Dogs 1 the best thing about that game in my opinion was the multiplayer I thought the multiplayer was awesome a lot of people disagreed with me a lot of people said it was awful but personally I thought it was great and it was fantastic to hear the developers sort of say we've looked at what worked in the multiplayer we've refined it and we've made it better. And now it just it it works really nicely. I played co-op for a while. I also saw other people play some like uh, team-based games, and uh, it was really awesome to just kind of kind of seamlessly just work with someone else. I did ask a question, which some of you might have, and that was, can you, with another person, once you've synced up your game, travel to two different sides of the map and then still interact with each other? The answer was yes. Yes, you can. So, I'm sitting here, I'm positive about the graphics, I'm positive about the representation, I'm positive about the movement, how the game felt, I'm positive about the multiplayer. What is there to dislike about this game, Ollie? This can't be as good as what you're making out. 
And it is. I actually think this is going to be a really good game. The story's pretty damn interesting to me. I'm a huge fan of the Mr. Robot series. If you Let me know in the comment section if you guys are watching that series with me. I think that's an awesome series. And it's a very similar kind of, you know, hacker activist group sort of a thing. And I think that's really, really cool. And it's very current to the world we live in today. So that really interests me. Um, I think the, as far as I could tell, the voice acting and everything seemed on par. Like, I can't really complain about this game. The map looked huge. Uh, I will say, you can see all of that in the distance there. All that stuff. I could probably 99% confirm you can go to all that place. Like, the game seemed amazing in terms of size and uh, amount of detail. It looked really, like, all of that, that's, that's, you can go there. All of that in the distance. It's cool, man. It's pretty cool. Um, I honestly wish I could come on here. It would be a much more fun video for me to make to kind of slag off this game. But uh, it's really interesting how this game's shaping up. It's really, really cool how Ubisoft have obviously listened to the feedback they got for the first game. And uh, it looks to me as if they've improved all the fundamentals. Uh, there are a few uh, other improvements they've made other than the core like game stuff like graphics and gameplay and performance and the representation of the game uh and that is hacking features the hacking seemed a lot more user friendly uh you could do stuff with shortcuts you could uh do a lot of stuff by uh using different um vehicles like a little tiny uh wheel sort of remote control car type thing and also a helicopter and that was kind of cool and the game seemed to facilitate different play styles i did fire my gun quite a lot because i'm a gun ho kind of guy i'm not very much of a stealth i don't really enjoy stealth I, it's cowardly you need to go in with a gun and sh you show those people what you're made of yes uh but yeah the, the shooting seemed pretty cool and uh i didn't have any complaints with the shooting at all so yeah i guess i guess what i'm trying to tell you guys lads is so far the game is shaping up pretty nicely i'm probably like you guys and that i'm hesitant to get fully behind it just yet however so far they're delivering on the promise of what they said they've got good gameplay they've got good graphics it performs well they're representing it correctly like i didn't play a game that looked nothing like what you're seeing here like the game looks how it looks and uh you know whether or not you think that's good is a different question i'm just glad they took the feedback that you can't mi misrepresent a game and deliver something different um whether that was on purpose or an accident is not really the point but that's what ended up happening and uh it looks like Watch Dogs 2 is a lot more thought out in terms of the gameplay in terms of the storyline and um it's just a great sequel to the original so that's what i'll say guys let me know in the comment section whether or not you're looking forward to this game you are hyped about it you're not excited about it you're probably going to pick it up you're going to wait for some reviews let me know down in the comment section and um, while you're going down there hit the like button on your way down and uh, i will see you guys next time for another video thanks for watching take care